Hey everyone, and welcome back to my channel. If you don't know me, I'm Tara. I'm a farmer from Northern California, and we are currently harvesting corn. It's day eight of corn harvest, I think at least. <laughs> we took a little break over the weekend, but we're back at it. We had some insane wind yesterday, dried out a lot of the corn, knocked off all the leaves, and probably knocked out some corn. All right, it is Monday. It's sounding like we might harvest a little bit today. Last week, my dad was thinking we were gonna hold off till Wednesday, but the wind yesterday was insane. I've got a couple clips I'm gonna show you. I apologize now, they're vertical, but uh, it's just like, it was the type of wind that being outside made you exhausted. We had a steady 35 mile an hour wind all day long with 60 mile an hour gusts. And I live in an orchard, I live right on the river, and every time I went outside, all I could hear was like a tunnel of wind. It just, it was so crazy. And I did run to the grocery store and like all the fields that were dissed up, it was like a dust cloud. You could not even see where you were driving. Oh my gosh, it was so windy. So here are some clips of yesterday's wind. We're supposed to be expecting about 60 mile an hour wind today. Uh, my shade is gonna get destroyed, I know. It's crazy, it sounds like a tunnel going down the river. My dad helped me come and fix the top of my run a little bit. It's crazy though. Gosh, it's just like video does no justice. Then you wake up this morning and it's so calm and nice, but I have a feeling yesterday's wind probably dried some things out, so we should be okay there. It's beautiful today, <laughs> complete 180 from yesterday, but it's supposed to be like 75 degrees, which to me is perfect weather. So we'll see how today goes. The leaves pretty much got wiped off the corn stalks yesterday. They all look so thin and sad now. I don't know if you guys can see it, but there's a fire over there. Anyways, you can kind of see it. From here, it just looks like big white clouds, but it's a fire for sure. You can kind of see all the windmills on the left. All those windmills are in the hills of Rio Vista, pretty much. Uh, there are a lot of fires going on in California right now. It's really sad. Some measures have been taken to try to prevent these fires from starting, but they're still starting. It's so sad. Um, the Napa area, Sonoma has got one right now, and Napa was devastated by a fire two years ago. I know there's one going on in LA area, and then there's this one not too far from us, but I mean, it is still 60 miles. We're safe, but my heart just breaks for everyone that's going through it. And of course, thank you to all the firefighters and the first responders. Not an easy job, um, just sucks. I don't really know what the answer is, you know, it's like we're not in a drought right now and I mean, I know there's probably a million things we could be doing, right? But no matter what, they seem to start. California's on fire once again. I pack the worst lunches to eat in a tractor. Today I have a salad. Sometimes I make sandwiches but I need some better in tractor lunch. I have these really great use, reusable utensils that I love though. 
Has a fork, knife, spoon, and chopsticks. Bamo! <laughs> I'm hungry. Busy morning. I didn't get to snack. I am a snacker. My dad is so good about always letting our guys stop for lunch, like, no matter what, which, like, is technically the law. But not me. No, he's pretty good. Just not during harvest. I mean, if I really demanded it, I guess he would. He doesn't stop for lunch, so not, not during corn harvest, at least. So why should I? I'm just used to these because these are not good either. So, example one. Example two. I just, I don't like these. I don't know. They look weird. Two. I mean, the lens is cool. I don't really like the pink. I don't know. Not flattering. No, I got one more. These ones. I need a store where I can try them on. <laughs> Example three. I think my originals. I like the colored lenses on these, but I don't like how they look. They're, I don't know. Even the pink ones are like, eh. I don't know what I'm gonna do with those. I don't know that they're worth returning. They're inexpensive, which is nice, but I wish I could find some that I actually liked. <sighs> or maybe I'll just deal with these. You could probably go dump if you want. So my dad's not too happy right now. It's hard to see in video, but there's a lot of powder flying around there. And he said, it's just not harvesting right. Um, it's not wet, he doesn't think, but he said sometimes spider mite can cause something to go on. And anyways, he's a making adjustments in the harvester. There's only so much we can do. He said, we're gonna keep going. Okay, this is gonna be a little volume or sound check because now I have my headphones connected to my old iPhone so I can listen to books and podcasts and stuff like that that I downloaded. But before, all my audio was my headphones connected to this phone, so you guys are getting really good audio. We're gonna see. This is very complicated. I'm testing out new, new theories here.
for our land leveling um, and also for planting. That's our only auto steer tractor, but ugh, we've been having a nightmare time. Some of our stuff hasn't been working and we were um, in the process of buying some new gear and on Wednesday our rep came over and was like I just want to let you know like Friday's my last job at this particular place we're getting bought out for another place so anyways we have a guy coming today um, from Fresno actually to meet with us that also sells this equipment and he said he is like mainly ag and water management and that's what we do so we're gonna see how it goes we've got a little over an hour till he's supposed to get here so we'll get this truck full I, I don't know that might be it for the day this is like poking along so slow I think I've realized it's either going to be audiobooks or YouTube videos I just I don't have the attention span for both last year when we harvested corn I listen to so many books and I just don't think it's going to work out this year. I do have some audiobooks on my list that I will be listening to. I just don't think it's going to happen during corn harvest. So I'm going to switch over to podcasts. I'm going to listen to the Shark Farmer podcast. Uh, if you guys haven't heard it, I'm actually on an episode, so check it out. And... He has another one with my friend Leslie called What the Farm Podcast. I'm going to listen to some of those too. A couple of my friends are uh, on episodes I haven't got to listen to yet. come to listen to me talk <sighs> I'm glad you think I'm entertaining I can't believe there's like already almost 3,000 subscribers it's so crazy <sighs> at least I know everyone's enjoying the little harvest series after this I don't know I might get bored I'll be disking I'm gonna do some land leveling winter is on the horizon sounds like I might be doing a little bit of traveling this winter for speaking events which I'm really excited about um, I'm going to try to do more and more speaking events if I can talk about being a woman in ag I also like to talk about mental health in agriculture if you follow me on Instagram I do mental health Mondays which is today but You'll be seeing this video on Tuesday, so it was yesterday. <laughs> Looks like our neighbor got a little stuck over there. Yeah. Hard to tell, but that tractor is about halfway down in the mud. Not good, my friends. Okay, the guy from the company that sells the GPS stuff is about 20 minutes out. So I'm going to move some blocks so the next trailer knows where to park and we might be done for the day. We'll find out. I am in my office right now. My dad talked to the GPS guy for two hours and he has a two and a half hour drive home. It's five o'clock. I just like, the guy was so patient and I think he wanted to talk about a lot of the stuff, but my dad just talked so much. So now my dad made another phone call and I am still waiting to see if we're going to finish a truckload or if we're going to quit for the day. He talks so much. Maybe that's where I get it from. Okay, we're going to harvest one more load, which I'm not upset about. I could use the overtime. 
It is so nice today. Ah, hopefully it'll stay this way all week long. Our last truck was 15.3% moisture. Perfect moisture is 15.5. It's sounding like we probably won't be stopping again. We stopped, you know, let's say today's Monday, so we didn't harvest Friday, Saturday, Sunday, but doesn't sound like we're gonna be stopping again. So go time until corn harvest is finished. day eight of corn harvest we've got a few days left so the corn harvest series will continue if you like anything farming want to learn how to farm with me because even though I have been working with for, with my dad for a couple years I've got a lot of learning to do and I think if you ask any farmer it's lifelong learning Anyway, so if you want to follow my farming journey, give this video a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button. Right now, I am uploading a video almost every single day. Every day we harvest corn, and after that, they will definitely be weekly videos. I appreciate you guys all so much. Have a good one.